Hi, Leo. It's Meg with Padme's, and I'm doing your January 2022 energy check. See what's going on here with you. And we'll start with an old wise tree spread and then see what wants to happen here. But we are calling in our angels and guides of the highest vibrations of love and light. Because I don't want to talk to anyone else. And this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. Also, cross watchers, you are welcome. Here we go, starting with the old wise tree spread. And then we will do some clarifying. We'll take a look at some energy that you don't see coming and get some advice. Okay, Leo. So the first thing that I'm noticing, Leo, geez. Okay, the first thing that I'm noticing is this big picture. The big picture is talking about heartbreak, overcoming a heart battle. I'm hearing somebody say a battle from within and a battle from all sides. So something is going on and yeah, I'm hearing somebody say wreckage. So Jish, there's a lot of emotional distress and upset right here. And I'm also hearing something about honor. So the heart of the situation is talking about feeling, feeling like this, feeling like there have been so many betrayals happening over a long period of time. Each of these swords is from maybe someone different, but also at different times, they didn't all happen at once. And this is the battle still going on. So here's death, but it's reversed. The transition is still taking place. Here's the world happening now and into the near future. And this is also talking about loose ends, loose ends needing to be tied up, not complete in its process of sinking. So unfinished business, there's still stuff going on here that needs to be reconciled. I'm even hearing debated. And there's just, it just seems like there's a lot of stuff going on in the mind, in the conscious mind. Your advice is talking about not giving your cup of love to anyone, not taking someone else's cup of love right now. There are some things that need to be cleared up coming from this place of justice reversed, which is some injustice, some karmic injustice. So ugh, it really looks like there's some kind of situation, Leo, that is needing some needing some clearing up. Your higher self is talking about judgment. This is about making a judgment call. This can be about making some kind of like reconciling, making a decision to reconcile, start over, start fresh, start new. That doesn't necessarily mean with someone else, but it can. Let's check it out. We'll clarify here in a second. But this is definitely your higher self saying, we need to, we need to start over. We need to start fresh. Even though we're not completely done with this cycle, it's like, know that this is over. This is the end. This is the end of a cycle here. So starting over is important. Your angels and guides are talking about some kind of imbalance that is not writing itself. There's some kind of impatience with this imbalance. There's, here's the wheel of fortune. And this is in the position where you are, you have some kind of block to this, this wheel of fortune reversed. You're like, this cannot be an initiation. This cannot be divine timing that I'm waiting for here. This is just so stressful and so intense and upsetting. And so you're having this resistance to this initiation. And this is about releasing and letting go the Knight of Swords. It's almost like it doesn't make a whole lot of difference if you speak your truth right now. Other people are not in line to hear it. They're not aligned to hear what you are saying. And so speaking your truth, it's for you always. But if you're speaking your truth to other people, you can't rely on their, you can't rely on their response. It's like they, you're speaking your truth and they can't hear you. So here's past, present, and future. There's something really good about this, and I'll get there in a second. But in the past, this is talking about your heart chakra, opening to your heart chakra, a new love coming. And this is already... This is in the past. So in present time, there's a level, there's a part of you that is has all of this truth, 
And I even feel like there's a whole bunch of truth that was being sought, like seeking truth for a long period of time. You have all this truth, but this is about keeping it to yourself. And then we have the hanged man here. And this is about looking at things from a different perspective. You have all this truth you want to impart to someone and they cannot hear you. That's what it feels like to me. There are a lot of majors here too. Let's even look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You have nine major arcana. So from 2021 to 2022, this has been a huge energy shift for you. The thing that I was going to say that I'm really happy about is your outcome. Your outcome is your energy. It's the sun. It's fire. It's you. This is you being completely strong in your own energy, in your own element. And so I like that. It's a very powerful trajectory for this month. Let's do some clarifying and see what's going on here. I first want to clarify this three of swords. The three of swords is talking about self-healing. Oh, having to rely on yourself to do this healing of the heart because nobody is going to do it for you. This is about having the strength and having the will to fight for yourself. It's also having the fortitude to pull yourself up out of a place that doesn't feel so awesome. Let's take a look at this heart of the situation. This 10 of swords, what is up with this 10 of swords? Good Lord Jesus. Okay, and we've got safe. A lot of times for me, this can literally be someone who has bamboozled you or um, some kind of stabbing in the back having to do with resources, time, energy, effort, love, money, but this is literally a safe. Something that makes you feel safe, someone has kind of pulled the rug out. Someone's taken something that makes you feel safe. This can be friends, this can be family, this can be romantic, but it's something that over a long period of time, it's like being drained of your resources. And there's this feeling of wanting to protect yourself, reevaluate what it is that you're needing to do in order to protect yourself. What do I give and what do I not give? And there's some kind of, during this reevaluation, there's some kind of transition that's still happening here. You're still deciding. What do I need to do to make myself safe? Let's take a look at this death card reversed. And uh, this reason being is it looks like you're, you're doing this. It looks like people are, it's almost like the feeling of being taken for granted. You're putting a lot of emotion into this and also responsibility and obligation. And now you're reevaluating and it's like, what is my responsibility in this? What is my obligation in this and there's a lot of stress around this there's a lot of stress around this also I'm hearing what are my karmic ties to this what is my um my sole purpose in this I almost even hear if I'm the one who was able to help then is it my job to do that Let's take a look. And, you know, I'm also hearing, yes, sometimes that's the case. And then sometimes it's not the case. Sometimes if you didn't step up and do whatever it is that you're doing, because you know that you can, and you don't think someone else will, sometimes it's still the karma of someone else to step up. And if you're there, they won't step up. There's That's for someone. That's for someone specific. Let's look at this world, this unfinished business happening now and into the near future. And here you are, Leo. And here's also the two of cups. This is being able to unite with someone and work together for something, work together for a particular cause. Oh, yeah, this is about, for this person who this is about um, deciding whether or not it's your job or your karma, or your destiny to fulfill this helping of others when you're being taken advantage of or taken for granted. For someone, this is you saying, look, I can do this much, but this is it. You're going to have to do the rest. There's some kind of compromise here. And your advice is talking about not giving everything, not offering this cup of love, maybe not being the first one to offer some things up. And again, it's because you're needing to remain in your resources. You can give some, 
and maintain your resources. But if you give everything, then your resources are lost and gone. And you're evaluating this. There are a lot of different options here and the different options need to be looked at not just the easiest thing or what someone else thinks is the easiest thing. I feel like somebody else like puts you up, oh, uh, this person will take, take the fall or this person will do it or this person is good at this. So it's like somebody is offering you up. <laughs> not as a sacrifice exactly, but somebody is like volunteering you, but not doing something themselves. Let's look at this karmic injustice reversed. And this karmic injustice reversed is talking about somebody's it's like there's it feels like there's somebody who's not making a decision hoping that you will just go ahead and step up but it feels also like i'm not sure exactly what it is that their block is I feel like they would be really angry and upset or feel betrayed if you didn't step up and do this, but it's not because you're doing this big, horrible, bad thing. It's because they don't feel like they're ready to step up themselves. This is, that's why all these major arcana are here. Like this is a huge decision for you not to take care of someone who needs to take care of themselves somehow. And this could be physical, but it could be spiritual. It could be emotional. Let's take a look at you cleaning the slate, clearing the slate, making a judgment call. What is this? And this has to do with you taking care of your own heart, which is exactly what this is, the big picture. This big picture is talking about you having to heal yourself because nobody else is going to do it. It kind of feels like somebody's throwing you to the wolves to be in charge of something that maybe it's somebody else's time to be in charge of this. Oh, yeah, and it does feel like there can be some distress here on your part. There can be some sadness here and some grief, but there's something having to do with being able to take care of yourself and have the gratitude for that. Have the gratitude for what you still have left, I'm hearing. There's a lot of collaboration here and there has to be some kind of equality here. And this, your angels and guides are talking about this non-equality. You're being drained somehow. And again, here's the safe, but also here's the house. This house is also talking about safety and stability. This can be in a relationship because we do have the King of Cups up here. This also can be this can be family and this can be friends. And I feel like all those scenarios are going on. There are different stories going on here. Let's take a look at this wheel of fortune reversed. This initiation, there is some, there's some knowledge here. There's some huge knowledge about this initiation that somebody has resistance to. Oh, it might be easier to go about things the way you've always done things but for whatever reason there's a huge breaking open I'm even hearing somebody saying breaking the silence it's like release this people can't hear you this is you coming storming the castle with the truth and breaking the silence I get it breaking the silence isn't with words this is deterioration breaking the silence isn't with words I even feel like that just causes arguments and a lot of things that people wish they hadn't said, or I feel like somebody doesn't even remember the things that they say when they're angry. And this might be somebody talking to you, Leo, or it could be you talking to someone else, but it's like, let go of speaking your truth. This has to do more so with actions. And right now there's no action that's being taken. Wow, this is really amazing how this ends up working out. The hanged man is hanging out, waiting looking at things from a different perspective. The high priestess knows what's going on with the truth, but is not saying anything. So there's something about being action oriented rather than speaking your truth. It's acting out your truth. All of this does have to do with coming from your heart space, figuring out what it is that you need to do from your tiny space within the sacred space of your heart, knowing your truth, 
moving out of love, even if it's something that someone else doesn't, it's making someone else uncomfortable, but that doesn't mean that you're doing this out of non-love. You have to love yourself first. You have to take care of you first in order to be able to take care of anyone else. And then what happens is when you move in your heart space, when you move from your heart space, when you move from your truth, this is you, everything falling into place for you, health, healing, love. I'm even hearing shared respect, shared understanding, but this is you being in your element. Wow. And this is you being committed to being in your element, coming from the place that is totally you. This present time energy is coming from some kind of agreement, some kind of contract. I feel like somebody's negotiating and it's like, you've said, okay, this is the way it's going to be. This is what I need. This is what I want. And then you're quiet and you're waiting for the other person to respond. And in this past, this has to do with a new beginning. This could be a new beginning in love. This could be a new relationship. This could be something that's been going on, but a new commitment in this. Wow. This is huge, Leo. Let's take a look at energy that you don't see coming this month. Okay. We've got the mature man, high honor, journey. I'm going to pull one more. So energy that you don't see coming. It does look like I... I have this feeling that this is somebody who matures because you don't step in. So they have to actually make some decisions. And in actuality, that is you empowering them, the high honor. That's you empowering them and saying, this is yours now. And they have to take their own journey to figure that out. Wow. So what you don't see coming is the fact that somebody might be upset with you and your decisions or want something to go a different way than how you are playing things out. But in actuality, this does show, contrary to what they might think, this shows your respect for them and it empowers them and it helps them know what they're, what they're capable of doing. And okay, I have a couple of things to say about this distance or distant horizons. They might not feel like that for a while. <laughs> this might happen out in the trajectory of the future but also this helps them to plan for the future and it creates a more stable relationship a more stable situation because of this let's go ahead i'm going to pull some tarot for advice but i want to ask what do your angels and guides want to tell you to pay attention to for the rest of the month here right okay so five of cups reversed this is definitely talking about the things that you're grateful for that came up here this five of cups when you're clearing your slate the very possibility of being upset by this worried about making the wrong decision or being regretful but your advice is talking about you looking at the positive things in the situation and not going into depression or regret and getting stuck in the past there. I'm gonna pull two more, Leo. And here's the seven of pentacles reversed. This is about switching channels. This is about knowing that, okay, I've done it this way for a really long time. I've nurtured this garden, I've planted these things. And now I need to do it differently in order to have anything bloom the way I want it to have anything grow the way I need it to. I have to switch channels. I have to do something different. I have to move my energy so that it's different than what I was doing before in order to make anything grow. Look forward to the future. One more. Wow, here's the six of cups reversed. This is, this is the past and this is releasing the past. I have to release what I've done in the past. I have to release relationships, arguments, upsets, something that was normal or that I normalized in the past, I need to release in order to move forward into the future. Okay, Leo, that is what I have for you. And I'll be back again with your, your love reading, your love check for the month in a couple of days. Bye, Leo.